here is my newest brooder toy that I have purchased um, March 11th, 2022 from a bookstore. I'm not saying the name of it. But I will tell you that this does a lot of cool stuff. Does much more than this, despite it missing a mirror. Does much more than this van. I paid like eighty dollars for that. But this does much more, and it was only like forty-seven dollars. And I found it in a bookstore. Like I just thought that Bruder products were only sold online. Like I was not expecting to find Bruder toys in a store in person. But I did. They didn't have many, but they had one that I really wanted. It was this one. I think it was kind of open a little bit. Okay, so I kind of gave one of them away. And the wheels turn. Okay. Don't worry. We'll get to all that in a minute. But yes, I did put that sticker on there. And I put the tail lights were all stickers, too, and the license plate. And that was a sticker, too. And all the doors can open. And the tailgate can open. And the windscreen can open. And the hood can open, as I might have showed you earlier. And there's a prop rod in there that you can pull out. I think it's right there. Stick thing. It's kind of hard to pull it out because I trim my nails. You can pull it out, and then that little nub right there, you're going to rest that on there. It's kind of hard to judge, but there you go. There we go. So, yeah, this is all the opening features. And then you can take the steering wheel, turn the wheels that way. Or you can use your hand and do it that way. However, there is a third option to steer the wheels. But first, we got to close everything back up. Push that back down in there. If you look underneath, you're just going to look underneath and say, Well, there's nothing special here. But what about this? This thing right here. This is the piece, and it is included. This is the piece. It blends in with the transmission line, I think. And you're probably thinking, where, am I, where do I put that? Like, uh, right here? Because that's, that's where the steering is. Well, I don't know where to put it. Well, right here. You see where it's kind of got a little rectangle? You're going to want to push that down like that. And then you're going to want to insert it in that little hole. That hole right there. Now line it up. Like this. Insert it in. Like that. And then. Well okay I'll just tell you now. Um, the roof can pop off. And then I'll make it easier for me to show you how to attach this. The roof comes off in two parts. That part. And yeah that's. See that thing. This thing right here. Circle thing is the third way to steer the wheels. It's another way to turn the wheels, see? So this steering wheel and this are both connected to the wheels. So when I turn the steering wheel, that thing turns as well. So you're going to take this, make sure that it's flat, like this, insert it in that hole, then you're going to want to put it in there. Hear a little snap. And then it's been engaged. And also that's why this can open. So you can stick it through the roof. This is, this is for a demo. So you can just take the wheel. And then your hands are not even getting in the way of anything. You're just driving it along as if you're not touching the toy at all. Which you can literally do. You're just touching the wheel. You're not touching the toy at all. So I like that. Driven doesn't seem to offer that function, unfortunately. But yeah, let's take a look inside. 
Let's open all the doors up again so we can look inside. I know what I said about the roof being removable and whatnot, but let's take a look inside real quick. Nice seats. And it's already dusty despite I got it only a week ago. Let's see if I can open the door. There we go. Looks very cozy in there. Alright, let me turn my light off so I save battery. Now I'm gonna pop this thing back out because I already showed you how that works. And now the other section of the roof is removable. It's fairly difficult, but it does take a little bit of muscle to prop it open. It takes a little bit of time to... It's very difficult, but I can assure you that it does come off. Let's see if I can just do this. Hang on. Alright, so I got both roof pieces taken off. And you see it's kind of like a puzzle, you just line it up like that on the top. But yeah, here's a look from bird's eye view. This is kind of the off-road thing. I don't know if the doors come off. I don't think that they do. And it looks better with them on anyway. Just drive around in your Jeep in the summer, you know. You run and crash into the farmer. No, not really. I don't want to do that. But yeah, that's how it works. And then to put the roof back on, it's just... You can put whichever piece you want on first. There's not a certain way you gotta do that. Oh, it does have suspension. I forgot that. I have another Bruder Jeep that does not offer that function, feature, whatever, I don't know, but... See, that this is the other Jeep that I have. I think they made three different models. They made this in a yellow and blue color, I think. This is the other one. This this Jeep is an older one from 1993, and this is a newer one from like 2015. So yeah, this one's got the fold-down windshield thing, and at least the wheels do turn on this too. It's a little bit more realistic with the turning radius, or the ratio. It's a little bit more realistic. So this one's a slightly bit more realistic, but this one's realistic as well. Doesn't want to stay on there. So, yeah. I thought the mirrors folded in, but they don't. And then this is just for, you know, I actually have a winch. Let me just show you that it actually works. This winch was included with that tow truck. And yes, this can be attached to the front of your Wrangler, is what they call it. Oops, I think I put it on the wrong way, didn't I? No, I think that was the right way. There. See, so, you now I gotta... Looks pretty ugly, though. That looks very ugly. So, yeah, that's kind of why I don't collect too many of these, because they're just kind of ugly sometimes. But... And besides, they're a little bit more pricey. I mean, I guess 47 for this is reasonable. It's not too much or too little. It's just right for this kind of a thing. Yeah, we're gonna drive it around... Have ourselves a good old time driving our new car and crashing into that cement mixer. So, 